Welcome, I am Brian Cook and today we're forcing Storm and Vintage Cube and while we have a couple pretty good picks in pack one, we have Yogmos Will, Mind's Desire, those are both really exciting. You might be looking at Telerian Academy, I think this card's a little bit of a trap if you're trying to play Storm in the cube. Top is a playable card, Fatal Push is playable, channel not really what we're looking for. So here we're deciding between Mind's Desire and Yogmos Will. I think it's pretty easily Yogmos will and hoping that the Mind's Desire comes back to us. Pack two, Dark Slick Shores or Leovold. We have Waterlog Grove. I've tried the Arcane Proxy a couple times and I'm not a super big fan of that. I think it here is just the Dark Slick Shores. Go for some mana consistency. Not really excited about any card in this pack if I'm being completely honest, but maybe we end up using the triome it is the jund triome so if we end up getting a fast bond it ends up being okay uh, i can also take the expressive iteration maybe that's the play here let's try expressive frantic search versus demir signet i'm a pretty big frantic search fan so we're going to take that demir signet's very good too but i've always found that frantic search just gives me a little bit more I mean, if I had drafted Tinker already, I would have taken the Demir Signet, but without knowing if there's a Tinker available or not, Frantic Search gets the nod. Mm, I just don't think any of these are good. I mean, I guess we take Stowaway. I think Palancron stinks. Let's take the Stowaway. I mean, it's not a card I'm upset to play. I'm more just a little disappointed we're not getting more combo cards at this point. Brawl, okay. Ignite Memory. Okay, so now we have a win condition. We have Wield the Badlands. We'll take that. Mine's Desire came back. Hello. Leovold versus Waterlog Grove for this prototype. I'm just not a big fan of the prototype. I think I'm going to take the Waterlog Grove. We wield the Triome, so we can take that. In pack number two, I'd like to see some more mana. I think that's really what we're lacking at this point. We have a couple decent payoffs, but no mana. Demir Signet? What? Who am I drafting with here? Ugh. I guess we'll take the Palancron. I do not like this card. I think this card is super overrated. Reaches. I mean, I've played Expansion Explosion before. This card is actually playable. Mox Pearl. Yeah, it's just easily the Mox. None of these cards are really amazing for us, so it's between Manamorphos or the Scalding Tarn. I think I'd rather have Manamorphos. We have a number of fixing already. Lotus Petal. Guess we take Chart, of course. Not thrilled with this pick. All right, I'm going to drop some knowledge. Past and Flames is a huge trap. This card is pretty much unplayable. You'd have to have Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Erratic Ritual, Desperate Ritual, Seething Song, pretty much everything in order to make this card work. That said, nothing else in this pack is remotely playable, so we're going to take it, but I have no intention of playing this card. The Ball Ritual, we're going to hope to wield the Goblin Electromancer. Creeping Tar Pit, we could try Ledger Shredder. Blooming Marsh is interesting if we had found like a Fast Bond already, but we already have a couple ways of making green. I think it's just the tar pit. Two of the red rituals. I think we'd rather have Seething Song over Desperate Ritual. Not really too thrilled with any of these. I mean, we'll take the uh, Channeler. Actually, I think I'd rather have Sphinx as a Tinker target. None of these cards are playable. We'll just take Light up the stage. I mean, I've played it in a deck in the past. It's just not very good. Rark the Thumbless. Um, whoops. Didn't actually mean to do that. Kirk is not a card I love. It's like, Kirk is the same as Pass and Flames, where you have to have literally all of the rituals in order for it to be playable. And even so, it does require a little bit of luck to not be a self-imposed prison piece. Dire Fleet Daredevil. None of these matter. Forge Master. Hey, we wield the Goblin. And this shade. Okay, so now we're going over to pack number three. Our deck still needs some work. I mean, right now we have some decent pieces, but it's not a complete deck. Time Spiral, Lion's Eye Diamond. We're going to take the Spiral. We need more payoffs in this deck. Lion's Eye Diamond is obviously good when we have Yogmoss Will, but 
I think diamond is also a card that might come back to me. So we're going to take time spiral. Watery grave because none of these other cards are playable. Mana vault echo. I think it's got to be the mana vault here. We did just pass the diamond. We're not sure if that's going to come back. The Bergmeister. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I think we can safely cut this Palancron now. Tinker and Citadel in the same pack. I'm going to take the Tinker and we are looking to wheel Citadel. I can't believe that this is what's happening right now. We have the, the Sphinx in the sideboard. And I passed on Jar. It is in this pack. Wow. So we want to wheel LED Echo of Aeon Citadel. And I get past Blightsteel. Okay, we're definitely taking Blightsteel. Let's go grab that Sphinx too. I think we take the Ritual. This deck isn't terrible. I think we can cut the Triome and maybe even the Waterlogged Grove. Thousand Year Storm or Mystical. It's definitely Mystical when we have Tinker. In theory, if I had drafted High Tide, this is actually a deck that you could consider playing Tide in because you have Frantic Search, Time Spiral. It's just really tough because right now, actually, we have Palancrown too. But there's only a couple of untap effects in the cube. There's Frantic Search, there's Spiral, Palancron, and then Treachery. We did wheel the Diamond. It looks like Storm might be open. Next pack should be Echo if the Echo was selected. Damn. Guess we'll take the dig. We're probably not playing it though. Oh no, it's this pack. So we did wheel the echo. Wow. Come on, Citadel. Please give me Bolas's Citadel. Cliffs. Please, please, pretty please, pretty please. Give me Bolas's Citadel. Yes, we did it. We did it. We wheeled the Citadel. Nice. We can put the Sphinx back in the board. Karma Guide to the uh, sideboard. All right. I am pretty excited about this deck. Let's add some land, see where we're at. Definitely not playing a forest. 15 lands with a Mox and a Lotus Petal. I think that's actually pretty good. This deck is solid. I'm excited about this. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right. I hope you're ready. I'm excited. This deck's solid. Uh, I'm repeating myself. I'm so excited. Okay, match number one coming up. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Match number one, we're on the draw. Here we kind of have a clunky hand. It's turn three, frantic search and prey. I'd rather just mulligan into a hand that actually does something. Hmm. So this is similar to the last hand. We're, with this hand, we're like really begging to find Eclaveons. At least as an artifact for Tinker. All right. I've talked myself into keeping it. We have a couple of solid hits here. Xander's Lounge. Play the Dark Slick, pass the turn. It's a mirror. And we hit the Echo, nice. All right, let's chart a course. Discard the carpet. I don't need to show them the Echo. Land number three. Show and tell, that's kind of scary. We'll put in a mountain. Okay, 10 power on the board. Time to party. They tapped out. Goblin. We'll play the Goblin. Storm 1. Lotus Petal. Storm 2. Lion's Eye Diamond. Storm 3. Cabal Ritual hold priority. We'll sacrifice this. It doesn't really matter because we don't have Threshold anyway. And then we'll flash back the Echo. We're going to leave Lotus Petal in play because we have Tinker in our deck. This is interesting. Sacrifice this for a red. We'll cast Seething Song. Burning a black. Play the Mana Vault. Tap the Mana Vault for a Demir Signet. Tap it for blue. 
Let's chart a course. Discard the island. Ignite memories for 10. Okay. Turn three in cube. Or maybe not. Oh no. Okay, they revealed Iona. <laughs> Iona again. Hey, we got there. That was actually a little bit dicey, but we did it. Ignite memories OP. We will submit deck. This is turn two burgy and a frantic search. Frantic search on turn three, that is. I don't, I think I'm into this. Also, if we somehow find Tinker, it's a very fast Tinker. Creeping Tar Pit. Play the Dark Slick Shores. Pass the turn. Womp. Still away. Okay. Ooh, I can play Horn here. All right, Seething Song. Play the Horn. Pass the turn. A little bit of the, the Epic Gamble action. We have Echo Veons. We have Hornfell. What's not to love? Someone let Tony Scaponi know. We'll take one. They get to draw a card and discard a card. They discard Dark Depths. Okay. Frantic Search. They discard Swamp Massacre Worm. They untap three lands. Demir Signet. Future Dimp. So they have two cards. We'll take a draw. And this is definitely our turn. Electromancer is not bad. We'll start off by discarding the Swamp. Hello. Good first two. Discard Island. Discard Mountain. We need a payoff here. Um, discard Frantic Search. Because this looks at two, but Horn gives us two without the card disadvantage. We're really all in on discarding the Electromancer here. Holy moly. We hit Tinker. So we could Tinker for Citadel. Play the Mana Vault. That was really close. Lion's Eye Diamond. Sacrifice this for blue. Tap this. Play the Brawl. Tinker. Sacrifice Mana Vault. Go get Bolas's Citadel. Oh, baby. We hit Time Spiral? Unreal. Am I supposed to play the land here? I don't know. Probably? Let's play the land. Cast Spiral. Untap, untap, untap. Use the horn, discard Badlands. Play Lotus Petals from 7. Mystical Tutor. We will grab... I don't know, Yogwill? Oh, no. Ball Ritual, I guess. It's fine. Go to 10. Chart a course. Discard a land. Seething Song. Let's ignite memories now for Storm 12. And we can always ignite memories again using the Yogg Moss on top of our deck. Storm 12 ignite memories. I was actually the one that suggested to Carmen Handy about cutting empty the warrants for ignite memories. Ignite memories, I feel like, is just more in the spirit of cube, and it's so much better than empty the warrants in my experience. Look at us. We won a match. I hope you're proud. This deck is kind of good. Kind of good. Uh, let's see if we can get the next two. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two on the play. We have Citadel in hand. We have a turn three Bergy. I mean, I don't love this, but I'm willing to try it. Our One of our better draws here would actually be Cabal Ritual because it would allow us to hard cast the Citadel. Basic Forest, Sapphire, into Sylvan. Good start. Take a draw. It's an island. We'll play the Demir Signet. Pass the turn. They pay 8 life going to 12. They pass. Play out the swamp. I think here we just want to put Bergy onto the table. I think we might end up casting Time Spiral. You might say, why not cast Citadel? Right now our mana doesn't work to do that. So 
I can't cast Seething Song next turn and make three black. Because our third black source is also our red source. They play a Plains. O-Ring. Goodbye, Bergy. Bye-bye, Bergy. Aha. All right, take a draw. Chart a course. I'm open to trying this. Guard the island. Play tar pit. Pass. So this means that next turn I can put a citadel onto the table. They do not pay any extra life. Here they have five mana for an acidic slime. They go after my tar pit. Okay. Land go. I'm not really interested in giving them a new hand quite yet. Primeval Titan. Sure thing. They'll get in for two. We go to 18. Come on, Cabal Ritual. That actually does it too. So now I don't need to play my land into Citadel. That was actually a really good draw. Seething Song. Demir Signet. Manamorphos. We'll make Black Black. That was not ideal. So I could try to ignite memories right now for three, or I can play Citadel. I think I'm supposed to just play the Citadel. Desire for four. I'm at 12. Monica Ball Ritual. Yogwell? That doesn't do it. Glyphs. A Ball Ritual. Okay. So we're really close. So I can play the Stowaway for free. Go to 10. Yes. Press of iteration. I'm at 8. And bottom exile. Go to 5. Cast frantic search. Discard land, land. Untap, untap, untap. All right. We'll play the Cabal Ritual now. Mana Vault. Ignite memories. Hopefully 10 copies can do 8 damage. And they just pick it up. Nice. Our deck is already perfect. Resubmit. Game number 2. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep this. We have the interaction of Lion's Eye Diamond plus Yogmas Will for a ton of mana. We have Charter Course out Fuel. This, is, this hand just seems great to me. Alright. We even picked up Expressive Iteration if we decide that's a path we want to take. I mean, a Mountain 4 Expressive Iteration. Utopia Sprawl. They choose white. Coalition Relic. Fast start. Draga Tree Speaker. Two cards remain in hand. Wow, another card to make this Yogmoss Bowl good. Let's chart a course. Holy moly. Uh, yeah, this is very solid. Discard the island. Pass the turn. We're definitely going for it on our turn. I don't know what our opponent's doing here, but we will be trying to win. Birthing pod. And they're using the pod so they can go get a two drop here. Wall of roots. Okay, time to party. Player swamp. We're going to start off on frantic search. Discard stowaway and the badlands. Untap, untap, untap. Expressive iteration. All right, so. I guess it doesn't really matter where I put this in. Okay. We'll play out Lotus Petal, Mana Vault, Lion's Eye Diamond, Tap, we'll sacrifice the Lotus Petal for a block. We're going to hold priority, so hold that control key, pass the Yawgmoth's Will. In response, we're going to add three block. So now Yawgmoth's Will happens. We'll replay Lotus Petal, Lion's Eye Diamond, and now we'll sacrifice the Diamond for blue. And we're going to put Citadel on the table. And a Mystical Tutor. This just goes and gets Ignite Memories. They have one card in hand. Um, What's the plan? I could... Desire. I think that's the plan. We're going to Desire. Cast the Cabal Ritual first. I'm at 11. Cast this. We're going to uh, Twist. And then uh, Ignite Memories. So that way they have a fresh hand. So that way I know that my Ignite Memories is lethal. I could have just cast that Seething Song, but I didn't. Let's go to... 4. We'll play the Horn. Play Blightsteel. Let's Manamorphose. We'll make Blue Blue. Cast Seething Song. Play the Goblin. 
Let's time spiral. Untap our lands. There's six cards left in our deck. I can now use the horn. Discard. There's the ignite memory. So I'll play the mox. Brawl. Ignite memories for 22. This should do it. Click, click, boom. And if it doesn't, we do have a blight steel in play. We've only revealed forest at the moment. No way. <laughs> oh, we finally revealed the cynic slime. No way. That wasn't lethal. We'll play stowaway. Do I have 10 permanents? I have nine permanents. So the Demir Signet. I think that does it now. So this game is going to be decided by Blossom Citadel activation. I love magic. This is so sweet. Blossom Citadel. We did it. We are now 2-0. Love to see it. That was wild. Absolutely wild. All right. Match three coming up. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and mana tokens, as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match number three, we're on the play. Let's get this trophy. We have turn one echo. I guess it's like starting the game with an island in play, but is that what I want? Let's mulligan. Oh, so we can have turn one echo or we can have turn one tinker and a blight steel colossus. Let's put the Demir signet on the bottom. Hmm, which would you rather have? Bladesteel Colossus or Echo of Aeons? Tinka. I love to Tinka. My opponent's deck is a real stinka. That's what we do. <laughs> my opponent said I thought my hand was good. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's tough to beat turn one Bladesteel. Submit. We have turn one Demir Signet. Problem is, I don't think the rest of this hand is actually that good. We have Stowaway. I think I'm going to try it, but this hand, I don't know. It might be a trap. They play Island. Another Swamp. Mox Pearl. Demir Signet. Pass the turn. Mountain. They dash a Ragavan. Interesting. So they're attacking. Manamorphose. They can't cast that. Goes back to their hand. We'll take a draw. Another swamp. Play the stowaway. Pass the turn. Once again, they dash Ragavan. I'm going to take it because I need to draw into a red source with this stowaway. They hit my blight steel. Okay. They have three mana open. Let's get in there. Triggers. Granic Surge. Get rid of this Ignite Memory. Go to black. We'll play Frantic Search. That was not particularly good either. Um, get rid of the Goblin. Untap, untap. Play the land and we'll pass. They burst lightning my stowaway. Imagine they're dashing the Ragavan again here. Yep. So we'll follow the 14 life. Pyretic Ritual. Actually, would have liked that. Okay, we're going to use the Lotus Petal to play Expressive. Iteration. And. Bottom. Ooh, I did this wrong. I don't want to play Mystical Tutor. Oh, that's really awkward. Oh, that is so weird. I completely forgot about the Ragavan. Yep, I botched that. <laughs> we could have had Tinker on our turn. To draw out a counter spell because I think my opponent is holding open counter spells, and instead I just punted. Damn. Because I, I could have drawn out a counter spell with Tinker, played Yogmoss Wool into a win, and instead now we're in this awkward spot. My diamond, which is 
also terrible because now they have a way on board to beat my ignite memories. Okay. Uh, I, I threw this game. I'm going to concede. The first game loss. Submit. On the play. The final game of this league. I don't think we're allowed to keep this. This is interesting. All right. We don't have tinker or anything to find it but i think we kind of just have to trust that our deck is going to do its thing here we lead on island so no ragavan that's good the mirror signet no spell pierce another island i'm going to try to play brawl here i feel like they might have counter spell no okay they're resolved i could try to echo what's metamorphose Blue Blue, Frantic Search, Red Land Land. I think I can actually front half the Echo. So this way, if they do have a counter spell, I just don't flat out lose. All right, Echo on the stack, Storm Five. And they had Force of Will. Okay, so I can flash back the Echo on my next turn. Rain Freeze. Okay, I mean I do have an Echo in my graveyard, so if they have another counter spell, that's awkward. And they mailed the Yogmoss well. And the Tinker. Narset. Wow! That's so good! Holy. That shuts off my Echo. Unbelievable. I am in trouble. They use the Narset. Mox Diamond. Cards of Mountain. They play them on. They have two cards in hand. They kill my Brawl. They have one card in hand now. I don't know how I'm going to be able to win this. Uh, Bergie's in my graveyard. They use the Narset? Oh, uh, they hit Wheel of Fortune. Now I'm dead. Wow. They got me. We did not 3-0. Oh, wow. Our deck was so good, too. Props to our opponent. That was a blast of a league. Uh, hard to be upset. I mean, those were some good games. I mean, would I have liked your trophy? Yes, but that was some good magic. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, have a great day. Keep storming, etc. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.